Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. All the source code for each video tutorial is located on my website at javacjava.com. Throughout my tutorials I will teach you Java using just Notepad and the command prompt. In this tutorial I'd like to talk about the importance of semicolons and how they work in Java and the importance of indentation in making your programs readable. I'm going to go ahead and open up my website, javacjava.com. Go ahead and hit the begin down here and come down to the semicolons and indentation tutorial. Uh, individual Java statements and expressions are terminated with a semicolon. The Java compiler pays no attention to lines, so you can have numerous statements on one line or one statement on numerous lines. The semicolon simply lets the Java C compiler know that a statement is complete. The code in between an opening brace expressions, statements, etc., and a closing brace is known as the code block. Code blocks should always have matching indentation to make your program more readable. I'm going to go ahead and cut the source code for this tutorial out here and hit Control C. You could also right click after you highlight everything and select copy. We're going to go ahead and uh, get this out of the way here. And we're going to open up our DOS prompt here. We'll go to start and then search, type in CMD. You can also go to start and then run, type in CMD if you're running Windows 7 or earlier. Pull up our command prompt, we're gonna type in CD space backslash. CD is short for change directories. Uh, backslash will tell you to go to the root. We're going to actually make a directory called Java. I already have it here, so it's gonna tell me I already have it. We're gonna change directories to the Java folder using CD again. We're gonna make a directory called semicolon. And we're going to change directories to semicolon. We're going to notepad uh, semicolon.java. Semicolon.java will be our source code file. Uh, in other words, our compilation unit. Enter on that. Yes. Now we're going to go ahead and paste this. Uh, I just hit Control V. You could also right click and select paste. Um, so we've got our class definition of semicolon. We've got our opening curly brace um, for the class definition and our closing curly brace for the class definition. You can see the class definition starts off right here, so that's why it matches down here. We've got our main method here and the opening brace here for our main method and the closing brace. Now this matches up here where the main method starts and down there, okay? Um, so we've just got a, a few statements where we're declaring an identifier x equal to 67, right? y 92, z 105, and then we're calling the print line method to go ahead and actually, you know, uh, put simple little string values in here plus the value of the identifier or variable if you want to call it. And then a semicolon, of course, ends each statement line. And we've made it very readable by not only ending it you know, of course you have to end it with a, a semicolon because that tells the Java compiler that that particular statement is done, but we've also done and put each statement on a new line and we've indented it inside of the method that it belongs to. Now you can put a little space in here to make this more readable because now I'm going to make it less readable. I'm going to cram all the same statements pretty much, just different um, identifier names here, um, A, B, and C, and put it all onto one line, what we had up there. And you can see this is slightly less readable here. We still have our indent, so we still know it's part of this main method here. And now I'm just going to kind of get ridiculous down here in this section, where basically I've got this print line method strung across this line, this line, this line, and a semicolon ending the statement here. And on that same line, I've got uh, the print line method basically just sending out a blank line. Then on the next line, I went ahead and instead of indenting it, I just stuck it over here for randomness there and strung it across two lines. And the second line, of course, all the way over here with no indentation. Um, let's go ahead and save this. So basically you can see this is nice and clean and readable up here. This starts to become less readable and then this just becomes just a complete mess. So now the compiler sees all of this stuff as perfectly valid. It doesn't, doesn't care a single bit about lines or indentation at all. But let's go ahead and come down here. We're going to do a clear screen. Java C semicolon Java call our source file here. 
It compiled fine. Let's go ahead and call the JVM Java Virtual Machine or Java Runtime. Let's call the semicolon class. And as you can see, it did exactly what we told it to do, print out these uh, identifier values. And you can see, as you can see, the compiler doesn't care about lines. Lines and indent indentation make a program readable and easier to understand. Okay, so let's go ahead and close out of that. And basically, let's close out of this. Kind of like to leave you with a final thought there. Semicolons simply terminate statements, as you can see. Lines mean nothing to the Java C compiler. Practicing proper indentation will really make your code more readable, especially when your code blocks contain a lot of statements. That concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.